Hi and welcome to Style with Miss Victoria. I'm Miss Victoria. Feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Today I'm going to talk about my multi-level, four-level ACDF surgery, anterior cervical discectomy infusion. I had it done on October 24th. I did it after an exacerbation of my left arm that caused numbness and tingling. MRI showed that there were many problems and that this was something I was going to have to look into either now or down the road. Decided might as well get it taken care of now. The surgery was about four hours. Like I said, on October 24th, I woke up at about 1.30 um, in post-recovery. And the first two days, I only spent two days in the hospital. I spent less than two days in the hospital, to be honest. And those two days were almost entirely spent trying to manage my pain. Uh, it was, the pain was pretty intense. I've heard that this is a painful surgery, and now that I've gone through it, I will acknowledge this pain is pretty crazy. Um, my husband said, all I said the first day is, my neck hurts, my neck hurts. And luckily they listened and they gave me lots and lots of pain medication. And probably by the second day my pain was better managed. I was able to get up more frequently, sit in the chair for a little period of time. Um, but at no point in the entire time I was in the hospital was I anything close to pain free or happy with my pain <laughs> management. Um, they did a lot of morphine, oxycodone, toradol, Tylenol, lidocaine patches. I mean, if, if there was a pain medication that they could use, they tried it, um, trying to keep me under control. I was discharged on Wednesday. Um, went home with 60 Oxycontin and uh, to be given every four hours for 10 days. So that was the dosing schedule. And also um, Reboxin muscle relaxer, two of them uh, twice a day. And uh, they told me to take Tylenol over the counter too. Um, and I've been sent home with stool softeners, laxatives, my regular medicine, and um, some vitamin D. So anyways, I uh, took those medicines by Thursday. I felt that the pain, it was not managed. I don't, I don't want you to think at any point during the first week my pain was well managed. It was not. It was painful and it hurt a lot. Um, but I was to the point where it was hurting, not making my life living actual hell. So I was able to get up by uh, Thursday and do some walking. That was a really great pain, pain management technique. Uh, just going out, walking around, reduced my pain by probably 30% off the top. It was incredibly therapeutic and um, very helpful, which is good because by the time Thursday came around, my neck started really swelling up, as I had been warned it would in the hospital. Not that I had listened to anything anyone said except for get me pain medicine when I was in the hospital. Um, but by Thursday, my neck was really starting to swell. Uh, with it came the trouble swallowing. Let me just say for anybody considering or planning ACDF surgery, I know you hear a lot about the swallowing. I found it frightening. It's not frightening. It's not like swallowing, like you're not going to be able to swallow. It's all going to go down your air pipe and you're going to die. No, it's just hard. It's hard to swallow. And you can successfully have a liquid diet during that time you're not going to die and choke on anything it's just it's like um having a it's not like having a really sore throat because it's more than that but it's it's manageable um i i managed a liquid diet for most of the week um i also liked spaghettios a lot to the hilarity of everybody around me um, they go down nice and slippery, and they're easy to eat. My husband made me some really good coconut milk smoothies in the morning with some protein powder and frozen fruit, and that also gave me a great deal of joy. I'm going to say dinners were small. If I ate them at all, I was usually too tired by the end of the night to care about dinner. I just wanted to go to sleep. Um, I started out by taking one to two of the oxys 
every uh, four and a half hours as needed, throwing in the muscle relaxants when needed, and um, trying to get my pain to something I could live with. By Saturday, the pain was definitely something I could deal with. Um, the swelling started to go down on Saturday as well. I still did not eat regular food until Monday, but um, Monday was a week after my surgery, and the swelling on my neck had gone down to the point where I was able to start eating. The sore throat was gone. Um, I have to take small bites, and I have to be very careful. I can't just put in a big mouthful of food and eat it with gusto. I have to be thoughtful about how I'm eating it, but I can definitely eat most foods um, without any problem. Today's Wednesday, so I'm just going to talk about where I am nine days after surgery, um, which is a little bit more than a week, and I'll tell you, I couldn't even have imagined where I am today after surgery on Monday. Uh, today, I would say, was a turning point for me. I definitely feel a lot better today than I have in over a week. My pain is less pain than pain at this point. Um, this morning, for example, I woke up. I'm no longer taking my stool softeners or laxatives because everything is working out in that area, so I'm pretty glad about that. Uh, I did wake up and take 500 milligrams of Tylenol. And I took my regular medication that I take for my thyroid. That's the only thing I took this morning. And uh, my pain was well man I mean, well managed, like a three or a four. Most of my pain has been in my right shoulder. It is superficial. It is very tender. And my arm is weak from it. And I was able to get up this morning, take my medicines, I got dressed, went on a nice 25 minute walk with my husband and my dog, came back, felt really pretty good, took a shower by myself with only a little help from my husband. I didn't wash my hair, I would need him for that and he had some work he had to do. But I was able to wash the rest of me and uh, he just helped me getting dressed with a few things. So I felt good to be independent and taking care of myself a little bit. Um, normally, up until this point, I would be taking an Oxy and a muscle relaxant and taking a morning nap. Today, I did not feel I needed to take my morning nap. I felt pretty good. And in fact, when he said he was going to lunch around noon, I said, let me come with you. Um, I'll probably need a nap after lunch. So we went out and had lunch and it was wonderful. And I uh, came home and I decided to take another walk uh, with my son and dog uh, so that I would be ready for an afternoon nap. The walking has been extremely therapeutic as I mentioned and uh, I wanted to have a little pain relief before I laid down in my chair to sleep. Um, so about 30 minutes walk, came back, didn't take my medicine, laid down in my recliner, reclined back, and I was out like a light. I woke up with a little bit more pain than I had this morning. I would definitely say it, it was bothersome. So I did take an Oxy after my nap just to kind of calm down the arm pain. Um, and I will probably have an Oxy and a muscle relaxer tonight before I go to bed. And that's all I'm taking as far as pain management at this point. I do think that in the morning, the uh, Tylenol manages the pain pretty well. Last night I started, for the first time I put on a lidocaine patch on that superficial pain on the right shoulder. I say superficial like it doesn't really hurt. I, I really mean it's on the surface of the skin. It hurts like the Dickens though. The lidocaine patch seemed to help that. So I feel like I'm, I'm getting a handle on the pain finally, which is important. Um, the swelling is down on my neck, and I'm feeling a lot better. I don't have my appointment with my doctor or the nurse practitioner until the 11th, so I have another two weeks to be really careful. Uh, I want to talk about my cervical collar for a minute because I know they're they're just a little weird and they freak, freak people out. I'm going to tell you, I have no problem putting this on and wearing it all day. Without it, I feel like a bobblehead. 
I f it's pretty comfortable. It does make my chin feel a little uncomfortable over time, but it keeps everything safe and it keeps my incision from being seen by people, which is good because here's a look at my incision. I think because I have a chubbier neck, it's a little more Frankenstein-ish. It's a little frightening. It doesn't look... It looks a little scary, so I don't mind going out in public with this on rather than that. Um, I wear this 24-7. I can take it off to shower. And I do. I did take it off and showered. I made the error of raising my face up to rinse my face off in the shower. And I will not do that again. I will not make that mistake again. as very unpleasant. Uh, I... I can make it through the shower, but I'm a little tired afterwards. I take it off to eat. Um, I did try to put it back on the other day and finish eating with the collar on when my neck became tired. However, I dropped almost all the food uh, into the collar. So I am not quite able to eat with the collar on. Uh, so I don't eat for very long because I do get tired. Um, as far as moving around in the collar... It's not on real tight now, but I usually keep it snugger. You know, you just move your body instead of your neck. I don't actually have depth perception on any days. I, d I have nystagmus, so uh, this has not been hard to get used to. I just c can't look to the right or left as easily. I still can't see what's going on at my feet. I've never been able to see what's going on at my feet. Stairs have always been hard, so... There's no challenge, nothing new or challenging as far as that goes. Um, I wash the pads, dry them out, and I've been trying to switch them out daily now. I didn't the first couple days because I didn't even care what was going on, but I think they definitely need to be changed daily. Anyways, um, I have taken it off. Not all the way off. Sometimes when I'm sleeping early on, I would open it up so that I could put ice on my neck uh, when it was really swelling up. And as long as I didn't move my head, it didn't seem to bother me. In fact, in the hospital, they had it open with the ice on it as well. So I, um, I don't mind wearing it to walk around, though, and it doesn't bother me. Uh, I, I pictured it being more intrusive than it actually is. It's fairly comforting. So anyways, that's where we are at about nine days out. Definitely feeling better than I have in nine days. Um, the first week, 10 out of 10 would not recommend it. It was horrible. The pain was really bad. The pain surprised me. I would not say I'm the wimpiest person about pain. I like to complain, but in general, I can usually get my pain under control and move on with my day and get through it. But this was a lot of a lot of days where the pain won the war and the skirmish and the battle and every other part of the, the event. So I, I just couldn't manage the pain the first week. It was hard. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. And that's another fine, final thought. Uh, it is much harder at night than it is during the day. I find that my discomfort grows as I sit in one position for too long. The, thus, the walking is really helpful, as I mentioned. Just getting up and doing little activities during the day uh, really helps me uh, with the pain. So when I'm in bed, it, I'm never in bed. Let me just flat out tell you, I do not get in the bed. I've tried. I've not had a very successful time with the bed yet. But when I'm in my re recliner, um, I'm in one position, and uh, it does tend to hurt. So I last night was the first night I actually had five solid hours of sleep, and it was delightful. So I wanted to show you some of my tips and tricks for the first week after my ACDF surgery. Um, the first most important tip and trick is my really swanky electric recliner. And I'm just going to showcase how to get the maximum comfort. I'm having trouble with my right arm, so we decided to take a pillow. And then I can adjust it. I reach down and... It automatically lifts me up. There's no trying to push anything, adjust anything, and then I can adjust my height exactly where I want. 
second most necessary thing, in my opinion, are these nice bendable straws. You can buy uh, throwaway straws, but I actually got these really soft silicone bendable straws on Amazon, and my husband just kept me in icy cold drinks with this straw in the middle of the night. You can reach over, you can ingest it, and you can always have some ice water. We also took the ice packs from the hospital. I had bought some ice packs thinking those would help, but these ended up being fantastic. You can put ice in them loosely and they can be worn on your shoulder. What I did for the first week is I just placed it right over my incision when it was swelling. I actually slept like this a few nights in the hospital and then right after just to keep the swelling down and it was really helpful. He had one or I think we have three of them and he kept them filled with ice and just cycled them as they warmed up. So I would say those were the three most important things, the recliner, the sippy straws and ice. Uh, we did get cough drops. Um, I had really bad dry mouth and a lot of phlegm and I thought that the cough drops only made it worse. To be honest, I didn't like them. They did not refresh me or clear up my throat at all. Mostly, it was me drinking water. Like that is the only thing that got me through all of this. I went through gallons of water. My husband's always yelling at me to drink more water and he didn't have to tell me during this week because he just kept it topped off and I kept drinking it. So those are my tips and tricks. I would definitely recommend a recliner electric if you can find it. We got ours at American Furniture Warehouse for under $500. I know that's still fairly spendy if you're on a budget, but if you have the money for it, 100% well worth it. Anyhow, a little bit better today. I know that it's not every day is going to be better than the day before, but overall I feel like we're moving in a good direction. Anyways, if you've had the four-level ACDF surgery or you are going to or have any questions, uh, drop a note below, subscribe, and I'm going to also post on here some of my tips and tricks for that first week that got me through. Uh, using my recliner and my ice water, <laughs> the, the two most necessary items for your post-surgical recovery period, along with heavy, heavy opioids. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.